Dedalos' inventions? It looks like it could throw me all the way to that other island. But it would... Gods, please watch over me. Well, here goes. Noble Hephaestus, this burning ember is a symbol of your uh, burning creativity, probably. I humbly ask that you, a true artisan, repair Daedalus's inventions. Um, please. There, small friend. <laughs> nice landing. Welcome to the Seed Furrow, Demeter's agricultural paradise. Looks like an overgrown mess to me. Do you think Hestia and Demeter are both here? I hope so. Hestia is the definition of a homebody. She literally stays home and keeps the home fires burning. I'm worried about her. But if she's come this way, Demeter will know. Demeter is detail oriented. Let's get moving before you sprout leaves, too. What do you need to know? This is the seed furrow, a place of growth, harvest, and regrowth. The well-ordered cycle of managed nature is kind of Demeter's thing. But, oh boy, it looks like she's let the place grow a little wild. Demeter is the goddess of the harvest. She's connected to the earth and agriculture. Growth, life, harvest, death, regrowth, lather, rinse, repeat. She's a crazy plant lady, basically. She tends to be pretty obsessive about the cycle being followed. Right. The overgrowth here is strange. Demeter is exhausting, but she is great at what she does. We need to convince her to come back to Olympus. Plus, we still have to find Hestia. So, while you're here, you can kill two birds. Ah. Uh, you can solve two problems with absolutely no avian fatalities. Okay. Have fun plowing through the area. Hope you can dig up some answers. When you talk to Demeter, try to plant the idea that... Uh, you know what? I'm over agriculture jokes already. Here, take this and go be useful. Yeah! <laughs> 
You! Oh, you must be Demeter. I'm Ash. Phoenix sent me to... Yes, and I imagine the owl I've spotted molting her gross feathers all over my landscape as Athena. And you're here with Miss Bossy Wings to convince me to come back. That about right? Well, even if I wanted to, I have far too much work to do. So you tell your Olympian buddies to leave me alone. Hmm? We done? Great. Why do you have so much to do? Maybe I can help you? You? Uh, what? Y you'd help me? I really need to talk to you, but I can't force a goddess to listen to me. But if I help you, will you at least hear me out? That is not the attitude I was expecting from someone here with judgy old Athena. Okay, well, I, I could use some water of life from the cliff top. I only want the pure stuff from the very top. I'm not much of a climber. A mortal offers to help and it is utterly not up to the task. <laughs> what a shock. Here, I can give you the ability to climb the hill if it will get you out of my hair. If you actually do help me, I'll listen to you. No promises beyond that. I have stuff to do. Bring the water to my sanctuary and we'll talk. Briefly, for like a second. Okay, I've wasted enough time. Goodbye! Wow. I didn't even get a chance to ask about Hestia. Yeah, that's the meter for you. Goddess of being a lot. Also, agriculture and the well-ordered harvest. But this place doesn't look too well-ordered. Gods, please watch over me. water Demeter needed? It's so pure. No wonder everything grows like crazy here. How did you end up all alone in that temple? When I lost my home in the disasters, the temple took me in. Even after everyone else abandoned it, I just really liked it there. Oh.
Demeter, I got the water of life you asked for. <laughs> you can keep it? The plants I wanted to water have already been uprooted. Uprooted? Whoa, what happened here? Every shoot and bud in my garden was completely under my control. Then things started dying, going missing, pests uprooting things. I don't... I can't... Oh. But I can handle it. I will handle it. Thanks for stopping by. Go away now. But you said you'd hear me out if I got the water of life for you. And I will! Just as soon as my work is finished. But since everything I do seems to come undone, you might be waiting a while. Well, I know you're mortal and all, but try not to die of old age while waiting, huh? It'll be one more thing I have to clean up. Ash, look at those broken flowers. Something is very wrong in that garden. Uh, boss, are you seeing this place? Everything is wrong here. No, I mean something suspicious is going on. You should have a look around. stealing the plants. They're just sabotaging the garden. Yes. Yes, I see. All the pieces are falling into place. They are? You mean you figured it out? Nope. But I sounded super smart there, right? Hmm. A footprint? And it's human-ish.
No, no. It's okay. I won't hurt you. A nymph? Are you living down here? Ooh! I never get to speak, nymph. Um, it said it just wants a nice place to live. Please don't tell the angry plant lady. Hmm. Ash, what if we found the nymph another place to live? If we could clear it a nice spot somewhere, it would let the meter have a little peace. And maybe she'd get her head together. Would that be okay, little nymph? I'll find you an even nicer spot than this, and you won't have to hide from the scary goddess? Okay, I'll do it.